Hello, hello. So in this video, I am going to be giving you five tips for learning to stay more consistent with your nutrition because that's the big issue for almost everybody. It's like you, you usually know what you need to do, but the consistency is tough. So there, especially too, sometimes people go through periods of time where they're really, really struggling and they just can't get back on track and i have been there which is why i'm talking about it so that is what this video is going to be about now the five tips i'm sharing there's there's so much i want to say about each one so rather than making this video 72 hours long i'm going to make this into a series so tip one is gonna have its own video tip two it's gonna have its own video tip three it's gonna have its own video so it's going to be a lovely time and it's just gonna help you structure your life in a very nice way and this is what i do well all the time but especially if i've kind of fallen off track and i'm struggling this is what I do to just get myself going. I check these things. I check off these boxes. I make sure these things are in order. So if you're trying to get your life together, these are the steps for you. So a lot of the time when somebody is struggling to stay on track, I've been through this. I know other people have as well. You keep looking for nutrition related tips, like practical nutrition tips to help you stay on track on track. So for example, eating more filling foods, adjusting your calorie intake, finding new recipes, finding low calorie little snacky things that just crush the cravings. So these, these things can help and there definitely are many times where I recommend them and they help and they can kind of be used in conjunction with the rest of the things I'm going to be talking about because I find for me if I'm really really struggling to stay on track the issue often is beyond those factors so a lot of the time if I'm constantly struggling with overeating and it's just like over and over and over and over and over and I'm just like ah that's when it's some type of mindset issue and it usually comes from a lack of taking time for myself like it's usually when I'm just like, go, 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 never having any downtime. And then the food kind of becomes it, for two reasons. The food ends up being kind of like a compensation way to relax. But then it also just when you're tired and kind of have used your willpower elsewhere and you never give yourself time to wind down and relax and decompress, that's when it gets kind of um, a lot more difficult to be disciplined with your nutrition. So that is where this entire thing comes from. These tips are not practical nutrition tips. They're things about structuring your day, but what it's gonna do is make you feel better overall, which is going to make it easier to stay disciplined and on track and consistent, which is obviously the key. So now that we know that this is a mindset issue, we know what to tackle. We know what to work on. The first thing you're gonna do is just start with reflecting on your week as a whole. So what I'll do is I'll think about what I'm missing in terms of taking care of myself. So I'll be like, oh, I stopped going hiking. I stopped meditating. I stopped journaling. I stopped coloring. So even if I, if I feel like I'm so busy and I just don't have time, by this point, I'll come to the conclusion that it needs to be a priority. Because if it's not, I'm gonna keep feeling crappy, which then I'll eat crappy, which then makes me feel more crappy, which then just ruins everything. It literally just brings down the quality of everything else you do. So if you don't make time for just taking care of yourself, making sure you're, you're ready to go, then it's like you're just sabotaging everything else. So here are some of the habits and things that I do to keep myself on track. And even if I'm not feeling motivated, I wanted to say this keeps me motivated. It doesn't. These are things that can help with your mental health and your focus and staying on track or at least getting back on track. And this does affect your eating in the long run. So the first thing is to have a nighttime slash bedtime slash 
wind down routine. That's a huge one. Cause for me, I'm very structured in the day and in the morning, but then as the day goes, I get more tired. So if I don't have some type of structure or routine planned out, then things can go to shit pretty easily. And then you don't go to bed on time and then your next day is ruined. So it can be as simple as just an alarm set for the time that you stop doing things and just start to un unwind and relax and get ready for bed. So it can be an alarm. It's just like, oh, 7 p.m. alarm, stop, stop everything, stop it, drop it all, start to relax. So something like that. They can literally be just that. So of course, we're not going to talk about a nighttime routine without talking about a morning routine. I love the morning. <laughs> So your morning routine can be really small. It does not have to be something crazy. It can be as simple as waking up and immediately chugging some water or a five minute meditation or a five minute walk or eight minutes of tidying up your space. Sometimes I have that as my morning routine. So it can just be small, but just something that you always do that kind of signals we're getting started. Just anything but checking your phone. That is a, not a good morning routine or a good habit. That's like the thing you don't want to do. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this one is to actually schedule time throughout the week for enjoyable, relaxing activities that help you decompress. I love the word decompress. So let's say you love hiking, but you never end up going hiking because on the weekends you end up having other plans and then you, you just kind of don't think of it. And then during the week you're too busy and then you forget to schedule it and then you just never end up going hiking. So if you plan it in, it's going to help you. So other things you could do is yoga, swimming, rock climbing, painting, singing, dancing, the music, Calls. whatever you whatever just makes you like feel good and relaxed so yeah just plan some things that you enjoy to help you just feel good because again that's gonna connect to controlling your eating because if you're always so like oh, I never have time for myself then it's a lot harder to control your eating so keep that in mind okay so tip number four is to find a way to make meal planning a little bit more enjoyable and meal prepping because if you're anything like me you hate cooking you hate meal prepping you just hate it all fun fact I do not I'm not a chef. I can't, <laughs> I'm just, it is not my forte. So first of all, I don't even have to do, and you don't have to either. First of all, like not even a ton of meal prepping is needed, but even if that small little amount makes you like, ugh, ugh, I don't want to do this. This little solution here can help. So making it more fun. So that means at the same time. So while I'm cooking up my food, which there's again, not much to cook, but so while I'm laying it out, whatever. I can listen to podcasts, audiobooks. That's those are my two things, but you could also like watch a TV show, you could do whatever. It's just something to make the meal prepping process a little bit more fun. So you're not like, "Oh my god, this is so boring. I dread this." Make it a thing that you look forward to. That's our goal here. You're going to be excited about your, your Sunday evening meal prep routine because you listen to your favorite podcast and, oh, and then maybe after you like, you make a special little like healthy meal, like you make like protein pancakes. I don't know. Just like make it a nice routine. So it's kind of like you're dressing up the thing that you don't like, which is the meal prepping, but you're just like, oh, look, you're also doing this and you're doing this. So then your brain kind of forgets that you're meal prepping and your brain is like, okay, so we are listening to a podcast that we love and then we are um, having our pancakes and you just don't even think about the meal prepping. It's just a, a little side thing. So that's what you wanna do. Just find ways to make the things that are kind of boring that you don't like, find ways to make them a little bit more fun and enjoyable. So when I said take time to decompress, that does include this next tip, 
but in case it was missed, I just want to say it again because it's really important. So what this is, is just taking time to do nothing. So make sure you have that at some point, even if it's just a little bit. I know I'm super guilty of sometimes not doing this. And again, I'll be okay for a while. And then it's kind of like it, it bubbles up but I can't tell. But then one day it just explodes and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I can't do anything. So just, <laughs> I feel like you wanna keep ahead of that. Um, you wanna prevent that. So you wanna make sure you just have some time to be, to do nothing and just kind of like reflect and just potato. And obviously like same thing to like spend time with family and friends, your loved ones, whoever you know, just stuff like that. You just gotta make sure it's, it's can take a while. You kinda just have to find a balance of being on a schedule and working hard and being dedicated, but learning how much downtime you need to feel recharged to perform at your best. Cause that's definitely my issue. Anytime I've really struggled with eating and even still sometimes I'll start to struggle a little bit and it's because I haven't made, I haven't been doing any downtime or anything like that for myself and I'm just go, 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 go. And then it just hits me and I'm like, oh shit, I'm tired. <laughs> and then that's when it's just harder to have self-control. So if you are somebody who is struggling quite a bit with eating, keep this type of thing in mind that it's always, it's a lot more about just hunger and cravings. It's kind of the things going on beneath the surface. Alrighty guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos because I'm gonna be expanding on all these things. I'm gonna be expanding on your nighttime routine, your morning, your, it's hard to say. I'm gonna be expanding on your nighttime routine, your morning routine, pronounce it very crisply and all those things. And it's just going to, like I said at the beginning, help you kind of structure your life so it's easier to stay consistent with fitness. Cause with your, well, and when I say fitness, I don't just mean workouts, I mean you're eating as well. Because again, that's the hard thing, knowing how to stay consistent. So when you start to put these systems in place and they become habits, over time is gonna come easier. So even if you're not motivated, you'll be getting something more done than you currently do when you are unmotivated. So that is it. Stay tuned for the next video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.